it's still too early. I think. No, no it isn't. I can do the mission. I think. No, it's four o'clock, damn it. Do it again, I don't even have to save, I just have to rest. There we go. It is a new day. In other news, I'm hungry. I have the needings for food. What is this? Wild horses tamed passions. Awesome. I guess I learned about lassoing. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Well, it's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get to hunt horses. This ought to be fun. You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Got a lasso. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. Okay. You lead the way. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know we're ride? only as free as they say we are. Power's nope. like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better, if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Oh, everyone does not like the government. It's kind of like America today. A lot of people hate the fucking government. The horses. Yeah, let's, let's hunt Bring some down, you know, I want this white one. I want the white one. Give me the white one. Yeah, there we go. 
Ride! Is our horse breaking this mount? Of course, do this. Stay centered. Balance yourself. Permanently thrown off. Flail your arms when you are about to fall off. Or be thrown. I got it. I got it. I'm all good. Yep. There we go. Look at that! We'll make a cowboy out of you yet! Oh, now that horse is gonna follow me. I think that's enough activity for old timer like me. I'll take this one back to the ranch. See you later. Come on then! Let's see if you can get another one! Alright. Let's do that. We have it good all day! I want the brown one. It looks like Buttercup. What are you Buttercup, for? come here! Daddy's home. Come here. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. No, nope. come back. Now. Okay. Got him. Dismount your horse. To begin zipperaking. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. It's Buttercup. She's been reincarnated. Reincarnated. She hates me again. No. 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 Be tamed. I command thee. Come on, come on, come on. There. there we go. You're a regular Bronco Buster, City Boy. Nice work. I think that'll do it for today. Let's get back to the ranch. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. The life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have more. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. I love the interaction. That was fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. So I believe that'll end it for today after this mission. I'm done recording and I have other things to do for today. Everyone has a life. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. Okay, apparently this mission isn't done yet. I forget. You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looked. You're worth two. Oh, where am I going? I know, miss. I'm looking down. Come on. In many ways. My wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. Well, how'd you meet her? She was an orphan, too. Fell in the same bunch of reprobates I did. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. I'm an orphan. Love me like my parents never did. So we're gonna 
and trap these horses. And then after that, I'm done. I'm not gonna lie, I love this game. I have so much fun with it. And part of the fun comes from just walking around, riding horses. Just Wait doing random signal, shit. And don't let those horses out of your sight! Right you are, miss! Which way is the canyon? That Blow way. It up, huh? Guide them to the canyon. I'm just yeah. gonna go with it now. Let's go! Hey! Ooh, there's a nice yellow one. I want that one. One way. No. No. Go this way. Whoa. This way. Come. 